Hello, welcome to uh, the first video of section two and this first technique that I'm going to be breaking down for you which is a power slap. And you might not have heard of this technique before um, but it is a really useful one for demonstrating some of these key principles of power generation so I thought I'd put it in there and, uh, as the first one that we cover as well because uh, it has some of those key elements of power generation in the technique so when you it's a good technique for teaching people to help them get a better idea of how or a better feel for how power generation can work really well <clears throat> so essentially this is a slap big powerful slap it's going to really uh, can potentially knock someone out if you really get them good with it so how it works you start from a, a neutral stance instead of being like fighting stance you start fairly neutral which is why this is good as a sort of surprise preemptive strike so you start fairly neutral and you want to have super floppy relaxed upper body basically so the more relaxed you are the more relaxed your muscles are the faster they can spring into action like I said earlier in the previous videos the faster your muscles can contract all of a sudden and um, the better the, the um, power that you generate with your legs and hips because it all comes from around here better you can that, let that flow through your arm into the target. So the power comes here and you have to let it flow through you into like that. So you're not trying to do this. You're not trying to be all stiff and hit like that. It has to be big bursts of power from here and you have to let it fly through your arm. So if you think of uh, electricity in a circuit, you have resistance that slows the uh, current down and wastes energy. So you have to have a really low amount of resistance in your arm. Otherwise, if there's any tension there, it can reduce the power. So you've got to let your arm just be a conductor. Almost imagine your arm is like a whip. You know, whip, you just put a little flick in there, and it flows through into the end, and lashes out at the end. So that's kind of what you're doing. Your arm is just like a whip. Nice and loose and relaxed. So the power comes from down here. So feet nicely rooted in the ground. Nice and solid connection with the floor. And you have to do this double hip movement. So twist your hips one way and then come the other way. And then when you twist them the other way, allow your upper body to rotate. So you go one, two, this, two. And so, and then you have to let your arm flow up and come out afterwards. So if I do it this way, with this arm, it's going to be one, two, one, two, flow out like that. So it's, Right. Do it on this side. It's what sudden and explosive, you just gotta let it fly out. One, two, bang. See you can kind of do it from relaxed to neutral and all of a sudden be up here. So it's a good surprise attack. And you ideally you want your arm to come straight up and across. So you don't want to let your arm swing back here. You don't want to be doing this. Because that's really telegraphed and you're not going to surprise anyone with that. Even if you catch them off guard by attacking when they're not expecting you to attack, they'll still see this coming and have some reaction time. So you have to come straight up with the arm and across. So to do that you have to really be able to get your power from your hips. It's all about this. You're not trying to, so try not to think about trying to slap with your arm. Don't be doing this. Your arm isn't doing anything. No tension in the arm at all. It's all from down here. Okay. So if you can do it really well, you should be able to get to the point where you can bring your hands straight up and across almost vertically. Right. Right. So that's your power slap. Uh, try to hit something soft, this is a bit tough, but I've done it before so my hands are sort of conditioned to it, but if you try and hit something too hard with this when you're doing it, especially when you're trying to go full whack, it will make your hands sting a bit. So try and hit something softer when you're practicing. And uh, there's an exercise you can do as well to try and improve yourself as you get better, which is if you have someone who's you've got a partner, you've got pads, you can hold both pads there. You can decrease the gap, so you've got to try and get your hand up in between the gap and hit one of the pads. That's an exercise you can do. That's power slap. 
So remember, neutral stance, really rooted and solid. Power comes in from down here, so hit one way, hit the other way. Upper body's really loose and relaxed. So one, two, let the arm fly up and come out. 